Yes, uh, Mr. Todd Collop was here on the scene earlier today. Yes, he did show us where two more graves are. He sure did. He showed us where two more victims, and I'm not certainly not rejoicing about that, but I am going to rejoice about what I'm about to tell you. We found out today, not, not a week ago, not a month ago, we found out today what I'm about to tell you. Back in 2003, on Paris Bridge Road, there were four members of Spartanburg County Society brutally murdered. It's called the Super Motorbike Case. Scott Ponder was, was killed. Beverly Guy was killed. Mr. Brian Lucas was killed. And Chris Shuby Sherbert was killed. I'm happy to report to you because my God answers prayers. We signed four warrants on Todd Callop today with a confession that he did this crime. Praise the Lord. That's right. Praise the Lord. Um, we're not close to being done with all the things that we have to do. We're just not. We got. I mean, there's so many questions I know you want to ask. I'll try to answer them, uh, but. I told you it was worth waiting on, didn't I? Now, I got a text from Governor Haley, who's the best governor in the whole world, and she told me, you know, that she was proud of us and all the things that we do, and she's proud of this community, and, and so am I. Um, we've been to the location of Super Motorbike and prayed. We prayed in the office. We prayed going down the road. I, I can't even imagine what the victims' families have been going through. I, I can't. I don't get it. And I, I've always said I'm never and never have been angry with anything anybody said from the family because there's no answers. We got them today. <laughs> we got them today. Now, I'm rejoicing that our community can know that, you know, four people who were brutally murdered well, there's no wondering about it anymore. And uh, I spoke to uh, Solicitor Barry Barnett. <clears throat> he said, I'm 100% convinced that what this man told us is factual. And uh, I don't mind telling you, this is a pretty big deal. So I want you to keep praying for the families. Just, just because we know stuff now doesn't take the pain away from the families. It don't. Y'all can smile if you want to because that's great news. That is great news that we found out who brutally murdered four people of our society. I've told you before and I'll tell you again, we're not going to be settled with that. We're never going to be okay with it. We're going to keep working. The investigators, all of them, the ones that are still working at the office, uh, the ones that are not working at the office, all the investigators are incredible. We have to have evidence. We had to be patient and wait, but we waited and God answered our prayers. And that's just the way it is. God is good. He's good all the time. And I, I'm going to tell you, people of Woodruff in this general area have made such an impact on the Carver family that they were rejoicing with us after prayer, after they found out that their son was brutally murdered, of how great this community is. Now, you know, it takes a load off of the investigators, I don't mind telling you, and off the community and off the families. So now we've got to start healing. We've got to start praying for healing. So, you know, be patient with me. I try to answer your questions as much as I can. Um, I've had a very, very long week, and so has everybody else. Um, we still work in this crime scene. This is not a, uh, we're not done yet. You know, we, you know, <coughs> excuse me. Miss Kayla and Mr. David led us to this. So this is a, it's just incredible. It's incredible what you pray for. 
and what, what our God does for us. Now, I'll try to answer questions and, and just be patient. Go ahead. Hey, Sheriff, any, as far as the cell phone pinging, can you kind of talk a little bit about that, about how, from what I understand, the phones were pinging here two days after they were reported missing, but it, it was a little while before everybody got here and started finding, finding cases. <clears throat> there are several cell phone towers around here, so it didn't ping on this property. It, it pinged in the area. Um, and, and honestly, it'll give you an area sometimes of, you know, 80 acres. Sometimes it'll be two miles. It'll just be between two towers. I got an email today from a guy saying he's a doctor that um, said that we should have found them faster. And I'm like, well, I've been happy to. If somebody would have told me earlier, we wouldn't have, certainly wouldn't have made Miss Kayla wait so long. But, you know, that, that's technology that gets us close. Uh, you know, but my thing is it worked out. Thank, thank God it worked out. We found this girl alive. Um, you know, I'm, Mr. Todd talked to me today, and I want you to know I prayed with him. I, I prayed with him that, that, that he will find God. He needs God. So anybody else want to ask me a question? <clears throat> Let me clarify. Okay, I Four from Superbike. We know of one here on the property and possibly two more. We haven't found the other two. Uh, we've been shown where they are possibly located on the property, but we haven't confirmed that yet. So un until we find something, some evidence, or find a body, you know, he just told us that. So, so potentially seven? Yes. People. Yes. No, ma'am. Oh, okay. Any indication of who the two bodies might be? No, I, I, you know, he talked to the investigators, and 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 I certainly wouldn't reveal it if I knew it, because of family notifications. They're not going to hear stuff like that on the news. They're just not. Did he say kind of what led him to suddenly cooperate with you guys? No, no. But I've been I've been praying you know, that the good Lord would let him talk, and by golly, he let him talk today. Yeah, we're, we're not even close, Allison, to be done. We're going to try and, and do all of that. We're going to search everything uh, that uh, this gentleman had uh, any contact with. You know, and, and he's been very cooperative as far as we know about everything. So, you know, you, you need honestly, you need to pray for Todd's mother, father, and stepdad. I mean, they didn't have anything to do with this. They didn't have nothing to do with this. Well, are you are you from out of town? I am. Okay, that's all right. They they were found on location. Okay. You know, they were they were already um, they were found in the super motorbike. Was so there any, a for I haven't gotten anything like that, no ma'am. I hadn't got a motive. With the super bike um, killing, have you found any evidence to support this? Anything on scene? He told us some stuff that nobody else ought to know. And and the and the. Uh, the solicitor and the investigators who've been working the case um, said it was good. So we, but we got four murder warrants signed on him. Has he been charged with uh, Charles' death as well? I don't think we have got to that point just yet, but uh, you know that's very soon. That's coming. Someone witnessing um, two big barrels or something being taken away from the scene. Can you say if anything big was taken from the scene today in those barrels? It, it could have been ammunition. I don't know. Nobody, you know, it wasn't anything of significance because it didn't tell me. So, I mean, I, that's about the best I can answer your question. Are you surprised that this guy was able to function in this area as someone so many people thought was just a normal guy for so long? Yeah, it's strange. It, it is. I mean, it's just, um, I, I, I think me and Miss Allison was talking. They said this is an episode of some TV show. You know, it's just not supposed to happen here, you know, but it did, and, you know, my God's good. You, you, nobody is going to overshadow the fact that God answered our prayers. Now, that's, I don't care what you report, but that's that. nobody's going to overshadow that because if it wasn't for him answering prayers and, and Todd talking to us, then we will never, we will probably, I don't know that we would ever solve that case. 
I'm not going to discuss that. I can't hear you. Do what? That or they could be unsolved, uh, unsolved missing persons. I, we don't know yet. Did he say that how uh, Charlie and Kayla ended up on this property? He didn't say. Has Kayla talked any more about what he told her? Did he tell her anything about He He told her a lot of stuff, and she told it to us. And that's a part of the ongoing investigation, and I'm just not going to talk about it because it's it needs to be corroborated and followed up on. So. It, he, he's representing himself, as far as I know. Are we going to be back down here on this property tomorrow? Because this is nowhere near done. You know, we're we're not slowing down. We're not st taking a break. We're just, you know, there's a lot of evidence to be um, dealt with and a lot of investigations to do. And we're going to keep doing it until we're complete. I don't have a time frame, Allison. I would like to tell you it'll take a week, and then when I say that, it'll take two months. So I, d I really don't know. Is there any concern that we pointed out potential places for two bodies, but that there could be more that he's not telling you about? Could could be, could be. But um, you know, again, we're going to keep doing the investigation, um, and and I'm telling you, we got the best investigators in the whole world. If you don't believe me, come to Spartanburg, and I'll show them to you. And so. Yes, ma'am, he did. All right, that, that, that's it after yours. Early on you said you wondered if this was a serial killer. Yeah, it, you know, we, we thought we might have something like that, and, and I, you know, it, it appears to be that that's what we're looking at. So we, we will not be done addressing the news. I won't keep you hanging. I promise I've been, I think I've been pretty good about keeping you updated. So be, be patient as soon as I find out some more information. Um, if, if, we, if and when we locate two more victims down here, we will certainly bring that to, to your attention. And when and if we can identify them, as soon as we do, we will. All right. Good night, and thank you for waiting on me. Thank you. Sir, I'm, I'm with the Associated Press. I just want their names. I want to make sure I get their names correct. You talking about for the Super Bowl? Yeah. All right.